Welcome to Los Sueños, Costa Rica. Los Sueños is a premier luxury real estate resort nestled on the central Pacific coast of Costa Rica. This family-friendly 1,100-acre oasis offers incredible ocean, rainforest, and golf course view properties, a gorgeous waterfront marina village, and of course, world-class sport fishing. Hi everybody, I'm Byron Velvick and this is the Los Sueños Signature Triple Crown. Over 50 teams from all over the world have come here to compete in this event. We're going to find out at the end of day three which team will grace this wall of champions for 2017. Catch up. In this Los Sueños Signature Triple Crown event, there is going to be over a quarter million dollars paid to the top three teams in leg three alone. Over three legs, they are paying out over $600,000 to the top placing teams. The defending champions of the Los Sueños Signature Triple Crown is the team agitator that you can see here on the Wall of Champions. And they're going into the final leg of this year's event in the lead again. You guys are the team to beat right now. Right now. How do you feel about that? Could all change very quickly tomorrow. Like what really makes a boat dominate For other? Us. Yes, I feel like it's because we fish together year round. I'm fortunate that the anglers I have are my family, so That's the thing. it doesn't really matter how hard a time I give them. Right. They can't go anywhere because they're still my family. <laughs> You're still gonna see them at Christmas. Right. Mom is. She's probably the most competitive person on the entire boat. You know, if she's not getting the bites, she's like, we gotta change something. This is just not working for me. We change my teaser, Chris. Change his teaser. I need a bite. You do the same thing no matter where we are or what we've done. We fish the same way, whether it's at home in Maryland or here. We don't change anything. Good luck tomorrow, man. We'll be following you guys. Thanks very much. Out on the water, these teams are fierce competitors. But back at the docks and at registration, these guys are all about having fun and making great friendships. I love the atmosphere and I love the people. Yeah. You know, it's, there's, there's just, it's just happy days. You know, it, it is always happy days. <laughs> you can go anywhere you want, you can spend your time anywhere you want, and this is where you pick. All my friends are here. What are some of the great things that you love about this place? Oh, it's very competitive. It's the most awesome place in the world. You come in and everything's all manicured yes. every single time. It's like it gets better every year. Do you see any trash on the side of the road? Do you no see trash. any beer cans? No, sir. It's been a wonderful event and a lot of fun. You gotta love it. It's gotta be fun. You gotta love it. I've love been coming here for 11 years. This is. Do you golf, play tennis, skydive, nope. kayak? Nope. Just drink rum and fish. That's all I do. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I'm leaving. I'm going to the rum bar. Bye. <laughs> This is the Super Bowl of fishing tournaments. It's just gotta like pinch myself. Like, is this real life? What a great kid. How do I get that job? Here, I'm gonna give you the mic. Right? Amanda. Amanda. Or a wig. Let me let me present to you, Amanda. Amanda Saban with a uh, Costa sunglasses. <laughs> I'm losing my job here. Give me my microphone back. You're killing what are, me. Smoke. What are you showing me here? This is surfing back in from fishing, and uh, you see the beer in the hand here. Oh my gosh. Hey, there's something new to do here at Los Sueños. It's surfing behind your boat. That's it. <laughs> we got a lot of activities here, but I never thought about surfing behind a boat. You know, in fishing, there are all kinds of superstitions. And it is pretty funny to hear what some of these teams consider their black cat or their Achilles heel. Okay, so practice yesterday, you were handicapped by our producer, Rich Christensen, who's behind the camera. Right Dude, it's a Gato Negro. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the boat that we need to put him in tomorrow so we know to eliminate those guys? Agitator. There we go. Agitator. So we're going to put Pepper and him. In and him, dude. <laughs> yesterday, you caught something really special. Yesterday was a special day. We caught it Blue Marlin, and it was the 1500th Blue Marlin we caught on the Big O in less than 10 years. That is amazing. Jeez. Huge! That's cool, dude. Good luck tomorrow. All right, watch them for them for the Marlin tomorrow. Hey, things are winding down here at Los Sueños. Leg three of the Signature Series Triple Crown. The guys are starting to leave. They're either going back to the boats, they're going to their condos, they're getting ready for the first day of competition tomorrow. Good morning. Hey. Woo day one. Day one. Hello. Every day's a tournament here. <laughs> Good luck to everybody in leg three. Come on, give me some secrets. Where are you going? I want GPS coordinates. I want a waypoint or two. We're going to the bar. 
Day one, leg three of the Los Manos Signature Triple Crown, and this is game day. Competition is now. Some of these teams have been practicing all week trying to figure out where the billfish and marlin are, but it happens today. Guys are going out right now. These teams are well-oiled machines looking to be the champion of this year's Los Manos Signature Triple Crown. You know, in talking to the team's practice and during registration, they have been super tight-lipped about what they're doing. We won't even give me any idea of where they're going. But looking at the phone compass and looking out, I've noticed most of the teams have headed out west and turned to the south. So they're headed south by southwest, running down the bank. So we're seeing a little bit of a pattern of where these teams are going to start fishing. And the first fish of the day goes fittingly to a boat called First Light, catching the first fish at 8.11 a.m. What? The next big move is from a team called Big Deal. They hook a marlin at 11.30 and immediately follow up with another one at 11.39, giving them a 1,000 points for two fish. It's nearing 2 p.m. and there are a lot of teams very close in the top 10. But numero uno hooks a marlin at 2 p.m. that moves them solidly in the third place. At 3.39 p.m., Fish Tank hooks and releases a marlin, moving the rest of the field down to a five-way tie for fourth place and putting Fish Tank solidly in second. Day one results, we had Big Deal in first with 1,600 points on time over Fish Tank in second with 1,600 points, and first light in third with 1,200 points. Marlin Slayer over here. Well, you mean Marlin Releaser. <laughs> Man, you guys have made a move in the overall. Tell me what it was like out there. We did uh, really well today. The average was good. We caught 11 sales, I think. We picked at them all day and uh, just didn't get that Marlin. I mean, that's what we needed. But you were fourth the first round. You were fourth the second round. You guys are like a model of consistency. We're like we're like the bridesmaid is what we are. We got to we got to try to catch the bouquet tomorrow. All right, well, thanks, guys. Congratulations on a great move. Good luck on that Marlin tomorrow. Yeah. Good job, big deal, baby. You guys had two within like nine minutes of each other, right? I mean, you had them all before 12. Hooked one blue, 15 minutes later. later had a double. <laughs> so last time it was a fight for, for last place, right? You and some other No, we were in last place by a mile. It wasn't really a fight. <laughs> it, it was decided. Well, what a comeback, dude. That's a sick comeback. Dude, I love it. Worst first zero hero. We had a wonderful day. The girls did all the work. You were in third place till about 3 o'clock. You were crushing it. Yeah, we were having a wonderful time, and we were just so fortunate. But watch this. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing video. That is awesome right there. What happened the last tournament? Last tournament, uh, we finished third place. First time we come in the top three. And here you are again. Here we are again. It was like We're a six-way tie for fourth or something like that. That's right. And we pulled right ahead of, of that, came in the third, and uh, 1,200 points. We're uh, going strong. What's the game plan for tomorrow? Same old thing. Just grind it out. 12 sales. I think we got more sales than anybody else. Congratulations, guys. What a great day for you guys. Congratulations to all of you. All right, man. Tomorrow, I want to see a couple of those Marlin coming. The agitator's being agitated now. First time, and I, we've had him down here. He's really agitated because he's not in first. Never will I ever I tell him that It had ever. nothing to do with me. Ever. Had nothing to do with me. Oh, come on. He's really agitated because he's not in first. But we're, we're there, we'll keep him, we'll keep him agitated. Uh, you know, there seems to be we've got a larger marlin bite going on right now, and they seem to be bigger marlin. Uh, nobody knows why. It's interesting the sailfish bite is off, so uh, nobody's complaining. I think it's going to be a marlin that wins this tournament. We got one yesterday, 400-pound marlin. Just need a few more. Boats have left the marina for day two of leg three, and what a change in strategy. The top team caught three marlin, one sailfish. Other teams are looking at going, wait a minute, maybe this isn't a numbers game. Maybe it's not just going to be as many sailfish as you can catch. This could be an interesting change in the Los Sueños signature Triple Crown. Let's get out there on the water and see what's happening today. There he is jumping. Woo! The start of day two finds our tournament leader, Big Deal, catching the first fish of the morning at 8.03. An incredible comeback has been mounted by Agitator, who was in 19th place after the first day, but has vaulted all the way up to first at the end of this second day. Find out, it is now 4 o'clock.
Day two, we have Agitator in first with 2,300 points, Fish Tank second with 2,200 points, and First Light in third with 2,100 points. <laughs> Man, good day out there again. Yeah, we did. We held on to our third place. Pretty cool. A lot of boats in your area? Uh, today there were, yeah, yeah. Who found you? Yeah, they found us. We tried to hide. I wore the camo. I, I, I tried to hide, but they found us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what's up? Tell me what's going on. What happened? Oh, man. I pulled off a blue first thing this morning, so that kind of killed us, I think, a little bit today. But Kit got a stripe and a sail, and that's where we're at, so... Over my shoulder, agitators fueling up, and you were on the boat today. Tell me what's going on, man. What happened out there? Today was a, uh, a long day. We grilled it out. We just kept plucking at them, and thankfully, I think the only reason why I'm invited back tomorrow is I actually caught the last fish of the day. So, all right. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Great to see you. Agitator behind me, Danny with Agitator, getting after it. In 1991, Bill Royster was motoring down the Costa Rica coastline and pulled into this secluded harbor. He spotted a cattle ranch and thought to himself, what a great place for a destination resort. And so goes the inception of Los Sueños Resort and Marina. I fell in love with the country and the people and I, after, you know, we were out fishing and I caught a 750 pound blue. Oh. I'd never seen a fish like that and there was nothing in Costa Rica at that time, but I felt that uh, I would not be the only one that would fall in love with this country if we could build a marina and a resort. That vision has worked out because you can see we're at 100% occupancy with our marina. We've sold over 650 condominiums and homes. We have 1,000 keys for the world and we've delivered 650. So if you're gonna do something, do it perfect. I have a great organization of people and they get that. Thanks to this resort, I came here for a three-month trip 17 years ago. Did you really? Yeah, I went back to Florida, sold everything I owned, and bought a place Dude, here. you're the luckiest guy around. That's awesome. The office was right over there, and it was a trailer. Oh, no way. The marine office, yeah, so it's been a long time. Seeing it grow like this, you must be amazed at what you've seen this become. No, it's, it's at 100%, and thank you to Bill Royster to do this, because it gave me a life. It created a career for me here, and, and this is home now, and, and we got our office here, Galati Yacht Sales. We got our tournament boat sitting over there. I got my house and my wife and my dogs over there. Man, this life's great, Ooh, man. This is great. Yeah, right? Here we go again. Our team for this tournament consists of Carmine Galati, myself, Don Gamel, Drew McDowell, and his twin brother, Eric McDowell. Bob Hickson today is flying down to be with us the rest of the week. And we miss him today because he helps keep us organized and keep us on point. And we have been fishing together for, like Carmine, 15 years. And we've been able to travel the world with Bob. Uh, he's our largest customer. He's bought 19 boats. He is absolutely the true definition of an American sportsman. He hunts and he fishes and he does it like no one else. And of course, Captain Tony on the wheel and our great mates. Hopefully, you know, we're, we're here practicing and we're gonna get some bites. Tony! You know, if you don't run over any, we could always put a bucket out, get some fish. Okay, that fish, that fish. How about that for timing? Left short bite, Tony. I was breaking Tony Stone's about not having a bite. At the exact moment I was doing that, we got a bite. So, as it happens, left teaser, typically fish teases up to the boat, left flat gets the shot. What happened is the, the fish uh, turned off the teaser and went to left short. And my fishing partner, Carmine, did a great job catching my fish, my fish. Mine. I'm not sure that it was your fish when I caught it. That makes it my fish. Carmine, the left teaser is my teaser. There's no doubt about it. that teaser is yours. So the fish that's on that teaser should be my fish. But I use a little special... A little jigging. Yeah, a little jigging, and that fish caught it out of his eye and came running right over to me. Uh, sometimes I over-teach. Now this boat, we always have a good time, you know, we're always busting each other's balls here. 
Pat being the main instigator, he carries the biggest spoon on our boat. He's always stirring the pot, big time. But you gotta have fun. I will not, will not mess with Jane Galati. She will absolutely beat my ass into submission. Jane, my wife. <laughs> we came off of two phenomenal years. 2015, it's like, wow, are we ever gonna see a season like that again? And then rolled 2016 in El Nino, hot water. You know, typically we don't have good fishing. And the water was hot, and it wasn't El Nino. And the fish didn't get the memo. They, they were here. And the tournament numbers showed that. Viking Yacht is the number one sport fish builder in the world today. We've been in business for 53 years. Uh, my father and uncle started the company in 1964. And uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful success story. We built something somebody doesn't have to have. I'm impressed. Wow. Oh, it's, hard to, it's hard to get all that in, a few words. Way to go. What he said. All good. <laughs> <laughs> and what I really love about it is, is whether you're the most experienced angler in the world, or what I love is to see these families, the father and son, or mother and daughter, or however the combination is, walking around here, getting on a boat to go fishing, and, and be able to experience this. It just is priceless, absolutely priceless. It's the third and final morning and the boats are preparing to leave the marina. What appears to be a runaway train called Agitator can find itself easily derailed. Good day. We need one more strong day because you're never ahead in this game. No one has a comfortable lead in this tournament. Right. No one. Right. And the tension is high on the start of day three. The teams are pulling out of the marina with all eyes on Agitator. Everyone's wondering now, can Agitator repeat the success it found on day two to close out this third leg of competition? First fish of the day comes from Team Galati at 8.09 a.m. Shortly after, Team Profader released the second fish of the day, a marlin, at 8.25 a.m. Halfway through day three, and what has happened to Agitator? They are currently fishless and have dropped a third. It is anybody's game now, and a few marlin could make or break any of these teams. Until the final tallies are in, and when all the Observer scorecards have been confirmed, our top three teams will be awarded. Five, four, three, two, one. It's four o'clock. Lines out, lines out. Congratulations to everybody. Congratulations to our winners. Have a safe ride in. I'm going to start off by recognizing a few individuals who showed outstanding individual results. First of all, we have the top angler from Lake 3. Jonathan Henry of Big Deal. Laura Jessen, top female angler. Scott Rickard of Real Screamer. Fish Tank finished third in this tournament. They're coming up to receive a check for $34,400. Next, we have First Light coming up to receive a check for $51,600. They released 17 sales and two marlin for 2,700 points and second place. Next, coming up to receive a check for $86,000 is Sea Angel. I know they're happy about this. 19 sales and two marlin for 2,900 points. You went out today and you decided you were gonna do something a little bit different. Yeah, I was gonna try to catch more fish. <laughs> I mean, 11th the first day, 14th the second day, and then today you guys go out and it was like a crazy afternoon from about two o'clock on. Honestly, I kind of felt bad for the old man burning so much fuel. <laughs> I was like, you know what, I better stop in blue water and pray to God something good happens, and I did. Congratulations, dude. It was a heck of a call this morning, so great call for the captain. Congratulations, team. You guys rocked it. We do this as a family. We fish against the greatest people in the world down here. The captains are incredible, the teams are incredible. I think I have the greatest captain in the world because he's my son. Agitator, come up for your check for $100,000 as this year's series champion. Agitator achieved 15,000 points over three legs. 
after releasing 110 sales and eight marlin. Tell us a little bit about how your how your tournament was and your season was more than anything. I try to tell everybody it's a very competitive family, and I'm the only female around, so it's a little abusive sometimes, but I guess I'm used to it. You guys are a heck of a team. I got to talk to the captain because he was really enjoying our time together early on, and we were buddies. Like, we were talking. We were friends. I fish. He fishes. Tell us a little about the fishing, man. I mean, you guys have been on fire. You've had great days. I know today was probably a, a tough one, but just talk in general about what it's like being out there and what you guys are doing. This year, the sail fishing has been a little slower, but the marlin fishing made up for it for everybody. And uh, overall, I'd say it was still incredible fishing. Everyone's like, oh, the fishing's slow. The fishing's slow. I'm like, man, in the rest of the world, the fishing here is still incredible. So what are we complaining about? And uh, we just go out there and grind it out every day, and, and that's it. I just want to say, Congratulations once again to all the winners. Good night and enjoy the fireworks. Hey guys, Team Agitator here. Me and my brother just want to say sorry to giving those production guys such a hard time. Rich, Pepper, you guys rock and you're welcome on our boat anytime. <laughs>